Okay, pastor, everybody, welcome back. So, I ran into a dilemma with my crew cab, square body. All right. <clears throat> Let me show you guys what happened. It's too windy out there, so. Um, I changed the throttle, or I changed the cap and rotor, right? I was gonna do a full tune up on it, so. I changed the cap and rotor, turned it on, idled fine, right? Um, turned it off, took off the throttle body, did a throttle body, throttle body rebuild kit, uh, put it on, turned it on, idled for like about 10, 15 uh, seconds, turned it off. I did a fuel pump or uh, a fuel filter. When I was done with that, I did an oil change, right? And then I turned it on left it on for about five minutes cleaned up a little bit i took it out of the backyard and then as soon as i was going to do it for take it out for a test drive it died on me all right so this is what it does check it oh i mean i don't know if you can hear it or not but so It just dies, all right? So I can do it again and it'll keep doing it. All right, but I can hold it idling if I hit the gas. It dies. So that's the dilemma I got right now. I couldn't take it out on a test drive because that happened. <clears throat> I got a uh, half a tank of gas. These gauges don't work. <coughs> I have to figure out why. <coughs> so, let me pop the hood for you guys. So, I was reading up online on the forums, you know, because they're always right. Nah. So, I changed out the idle air control valve, which is right here. So, that's the idle air control valve. Okay. This is the throttle position sensor. These are the two injectors. And then this one's brand new. This is for a, a temperature sensor, but it's hooked up to the ECM, so it'll let it'll tell it what uh, the temperature of the engine, and this will let the computer know how much fuel to throw into the throttle body, depending on the temperature of the motor or whatever. So vacuum hoses are all good. Yesterday I ordered a distributor because inside the distributor there's a pickup coil and then the coil ignition module, I think they're called. And then this is the actual coil right here. So <clears throat> I'm thinking it's the fuel pump. I'm just throwing parts at it right now. Well, not even. I mean, I just ordered, I just put this one brand new. But I went and bought a fuel pump and strainer. So I'm gonna do that right now and see if it fixes it. But I got a distributor on the way just in case it doesn't fix it. And that should get here either today or tomorrow. So I'm gonna switch out the fuel pump and then uh, we'll see what happens. All right, so this is what I got going on. That's how I did it. Uh, used a scissor jack. All right. Took the fuel pump out already. Here's the old unit. About to switch it out. And uh, we'll see what happens after I put her back on. So I'll come back with you guys. So we got the battery connected. Everything back to normal. Fuel pump on. The two ground straps are on. Now it's time to see if it starts. I really hope it starts. <laughs> Because it can be in the distributor, you got the pickup 
the coil pickup or something which is one you got the coil module and then outside on the intake manifold you got the coil and then on the throttle body you got the idle air control valve then you got the position sensor throttle position sensor and then the fuel pump so it can be six things or in the fuel pump relay so hopefully it's the fuel pump if not then i guess we'll just have to start throwing parts at it i guess might as well here we go ready let's see what happens hell yeah it started damn i'm happy for that so i guess it was a fuel pump after all hell yeah there you go so that screeching sound you guys hear when i first started is that right there i think it's gonna start to go out that's the smog pump it hooks up to all this right here and to the adder i would eliminate it but we need it here in california to be able to smog the cars and pass smog and inspection and all that so yeah but uh, now I just got to put it back together and then take it out for a drive. I still got the distributor coming, but since it wasn't it, it was only 65 bucks. So I'm going to just store it, store it in the shed and uh, use it for a rainy day, I guess. So let's put it back together and uh, take it out for a drive, I guess. Now I can paint everything, pressure wash the engine bay, paint something, make it look nice and clean. Man, I was about to get stressed out. Here we go. Running with the uh, feathering the pedal. <laughs>